everybody welcome to my video and today I'm gonna make no bake cookies it's too hot to bake anything in the oven so I decided to do uh, vegan or dairy free no bake cookies you'll need uh, butter sugar I'm using cacao powder milk vanilla extract a creamy peanut butter and quick oats. You don't want to use old-fashioned oats. And of course, parchment paper. I do have it laid out already. All right. I'm just gonna start adding everything into my saucepan, which you want on a medium heat. All right, make sure you turn it on. And let's start with the butter, which you want a half a cup. You do want to try to be quite quick with this recipe. You want to add everything and then the well, I'll kind of like mix it up and everything and let it allow to boil for 60 seconds without stirring it. But you want to constantly stir this. Oh, maybe we'll let the butter melt first. Okay, I'm just going to start adding everything in. So you need a three-fourths cup and then one cup. So this is just a half because I don't have it my cup right now. So I'm just going to refill it up. And then a third of my cacao powder. Sorry, probably quite annoying, but I'm just trying to like mix out all the lumps up in here so it'd be like the lumps of butter. Okay, I'm just gonna let this sit until it begins to boil. And then we have to let it boil for 60 seconds. But I have such a sweet tooth that I thought this would be the greatest idea. There was just like one last bu butter bubble. How was your day? Please comment down below to let me know how was your day. What you're looking forward to the weekend. Or I don't know. I am so excited for fall. Can't wait. Even though winter comes along with it. I'm not too excited for winter. Just fall. It's beginning to boil. Or a little simmer. I mean. On the rims. So you can start measuring out your peanut butter and vanilla extract. I actually pre- Give me a two-thirds of peanut butter. Also, too, when you start adding in your vanilla, oats, and peanut butter, you want it off-heat. 
and then quickly take it to the parchment paper and scoop lump, scoop it out. All right, it's beginning to boil. So count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twelve, two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three. I don't know, kind of done counting. Let's start. Add in the peanut butter. That was one cup, two cup, and that is it, three cups. Stir it up. Just grab the spoon to measure it out. Alrighty, let's go. Just measuring out like this. Oops. Once you have done it all, done it all, it turns out like that. And you want to let them sit set for 30 minutes before touching them. I do kind of want to try it though. No one else do that. Okay, good. Alright, it's been 30 minutes and they are done. They are still quite sticky, so you have to eat it with a spoon, but they're not that bad. You can try it out. Mmm. Hi everybody, it's the next day. I actually forgot to film an ending to my video yesterday, so just coming back to say um, proper goodbye. Um, yesterday, though, on my no bake dairy free cookie recipe, I got um, the cookies stuck to the parchment paper. So I just put them in the freezer for an hour actually, and they turned out perfectly fine after they come off the parchment paper, totally fine. So, uh, can totally, if they, your recipe comes out that way, you can totally do that. Please like my video and give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.